Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to um, look at an interesting topic in CATIA assembly, and that is uh, manipulating with specific values. So you know, for example, here I have these two parts constrained, and the holes on the two parts are concentric, and I have a coincidence here. So um, this is how they are working, right? And the green part is fixed, as you can see. Now, um, the question is this. You see here, when I try to rotate this member, I cannot rotate it with a specific value. All I can do is just to rotate it about X. But if I want to rotate it exactly 30 degrees clockwise, counterclockwise, or I put it at a specific angle with respect to um, the um, Y axis, let's say in this case, how can I do that? Definitely, the manipulation tool is not going to make it happen. So the answer to that is we have to use the compass, right? So here I grab the compass and drop it on the part I want to manipulate. And then instead of using the compass axis, I double click on the compass to open the compass window. And here I can uh, choose specific location for the centroid, the specific angle for the frame attached to the object uh, to happen or a specific amount of increment in position or orientation. So let's say here this axis W that is perpendicular to the object if I want to rotate about this uh, axis W 30 degrees counterclockwise so I go here and the default is 0, 0 everything so I say change the angle 30 degrees and go what this direction or the other right so here you see it goes counterclockwise 30 degrees increment here it goes 30 degrees clockwise right and so you see I can do any of these uh, specific amount of rotations or the same thing with translations right just go up let's say about the U axis or let's say W axis one inches right go up in the w direction or go down right so you see if i want to specify exact numbers i can do that the only problem is in the case of this rotation when we did this 30 degree or so right when we did the 30 degree what was the problem the problem was if you looked it is going to violate the constraints that i had so here I wanted these two holes to be concentric, but because the W axis that I have is not collinear with the axis of this hole, then the rotation that happens is going to make these two holes to lose their concentricity. So if I want to rotate this guy about the axis of the two holes without violating the constraint, and exactly do it 30 degrees, how do I do that? Well, first I update this so that uh, the um, constraint ba goes back into effect. Now I need to specify a line here, just like this line I just showed you, but the physical line, like a, not like a virtual line like this, and then attach my uh, compass to the line, not to the object top surface. So for that to happen, I go ahead and open this input link, double click, go to part body, and I'm going to create a line passing through the center of this hole. So first I need to know where the center of the hole is. So I open the sketch here. If I double click at the center, you see the coordinate of it is what? Zero for vertical and negative 1.81 for horizontal. So I get this number. Copy that, get out. Now I click on the 3D line command and uh, for uh, first point, I uh, use X of zero, Y, I paste the number I had, Z is zero. And that point is going to be the center uh, on the axis of the um, hole. And then for the next point, I use the same thing, but X of it, I change. So, because the x-axis is parallel to the um, axis of the hole, 
So if I change the X, the next point is also going to be on the axis of the rotation. And so you clearly see this line is exactly the uh, axis of rotation for this um, member. So now that I got this, I go back to the product. And as I said, instead of me dropping this um, uh, compass on the top surface, I drop it on this line like this. And now when I double click, if I change now the angle, the rotation is going to happen with the line that is associated with the part. So the part is going to rotate about the line and line is aligned with axis W. So look, you see, now I can exactly ask it to go the increment angle that I want. Good. So hopefully this answered uh, some of your questions that you might have about how do I exactly manipulate with the specific numbers a part in assembly. That's how you go about it. Thank you for your attention. I will see you in my next video.